my Sherman upgrade parts came hangers. Uh, the wider rim. Uh, I bought a tube. And I've got a new Pirelli Angel 808014 tire, which actually I just measured it and it measures 80. Three millimeter across this shoulder unmounted, and the uh, sherm opening is right around 90 as far as I can tell. So that leaves three and a half millimeter on each side, which that sounds about right. Uh, changing hangers, which are supposed to be higher, the rim is different, the tires, so many things are being changed at the same damn time that it's not going to be very easy to know which variable is doing what. Let's just fumble fuck our way through this on the floor and I'll just start making a mess and tearing shit apart. You need to, uh, you know, look at these on a regular basis. Also, when you're putting them in, you want to push the plastic and then put them in. Go over your bolts on a regular basis just to snug them lightly to make sure they're not rattling loose. It seems we have already encountered our first problem. Finding the uh, other pedals on the other side, the pins were loose, or the, the screws were loose. This side, no such luck. I'm going to use PB Magic. And, uh, this stuff sometimes saves your ass. But, yeah. The big thing to take away here is anytime you're doing something like this, any small thing can go wrong. So a seemingly simple job can wind up rendering whatever you're working on useless. I found the closest. This may be a brand new five, but I think I got it to pop. It took that. The discrepancy here is that they cut the sheathing a little short and my tiny signal wires are actually bent over and touching this plastic lip right here. So Alright, uh, I don't know if you can see very well, this isn't a very good lens on that camera for this, but these are the motor wires. And then we have the uh, sensor wires or signal wires over here. And uh, I'm going to do the smart thing and uh, mark this shit and then take a picture just in case. But I'll disconnect the battery cables just to be safe. And I'll uh, inspect the circuit board where the battery cables go into, into the board here. I'll inspect those to make sure those solder joints aren't... Uh, cold soldered or starting to develop cracks. So let me get to that. Well, I guess before I forget, I went ahead and I hooked the panel back up, but the batteries are disconnected and uh, hit the power button. Now it's dead. You see that residual power that was left? That was what was in the capacitors. Pressing on a board like this. Just trying to find a different size screwdriver. Ah, fuck me. Hooray! I got all three of these off. It was a combination of these. And this specific cheap ass screwdriver. Sheet of self tapping screws into a steel tube. Boy. Yeah, this one's self not tapping. And these screws will basically just be glued in after you take them off a couple times.
get a bit grammar. Try not to hit the battery. Oh, all right. Remember, if your wheel is on and you pull these out wrong, it'll short the driver that powers these. So I like to RTV mine in. It's cheap. It pulls, pulls clean, pretty clean, and you just keep putting it on it every time. All right. Let me see if I can see where these wires come through this little. This right here, These little tiny wires are actually over here on it a little bit. You can see the sheath is down in there. I should be able to pull it out of there. But I'll just add a little something. The wires do run straight up, but it doesn't hurt to have a little more friction right there. We're getting somewhere. Is that on the side sticking? No. Watch them wires. Hooray! Oh, it's still heavy. <laughs> All right, well, I made a socket. I actually ordered a 24 millimeter deep well to uh, make, but I'm impatient it hasn't been here yet, and I found a 15 sixteenths? Yeah, 15 sixteenths uh, deep well. And since I don't know if I've ever used a 15 16 and I have another and blah blah blah. Hey, I just cut one of these up. I cut it with a Dremel, left some ragged edges, so I used tape. I'm almost out of electrical tape, so I just used needle tape. And it's just enough, I hope, to get that loose. From what I understand, you have to have these hangers mounted evenly, or it won't go back together. And of course it won't ride right. So I have put it on this fixture. And if they were twisted, it wouldn't sit there straight. You ever watch a monkey fucking football? This is what it looks like. Mm. It broke at a hundred. Here's the answer to the difference in the pedal hangers. What they've done is they've simply cut this hole out in a different spot. So if you line up the holes, you can see this difference here is the height difference in pedal hangers. Uh, 5.8 millimeter height difference. The right hand side is where the thicker offset goes, the motor wire side. Right hand side in vehicles is usually as the driving position. Right hand side would be this side. So the, the rim needs to go this way. I went ahead and uh, marked it right hand side. You know, I just. And the tire, here's the, the thing about this tire is it's designed to be a front tire on the scooter. 
And so the majority of the forces at play on the front tire of a motorcycle or scooter is a braking forces on the front. So when I first looked at it, and there's an arrow on the side, it's telling me that I actually need to mount it running this way, which in my idea channel my theory channels water to the center groove. As a scooter or motorcycle, it actually would need to be mounted this way, which so I don't care what the engineers say, it still does channel stuff towards the center. Well, on a unicycle, we have one tire doing both the braking and the accelerating. So I'm going to make the executive decision to mount this backwards of what they say because this was intended as a front tire, but it is no longer being used as such. It may compromise my braking traction, but it should increase my acceleration traction. This is just simple dish soap and water. Do, 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 get it. See, sometimes these are actually quite easy to get on here. Like that. Make sure we're faced the right direction. Yep. To get this low enough so it's into that second groove. Scuff it again. Now is when we just hope the tube's not right there. And we're on it. Okay, let's see if you can see the damages I did to this beautiful Chinese ram. I think it's right here. If you look really close, let me see if I can get a zoom in. You see it? Person, it's right. Um, yeah, right, <laughs> right there. But that didn't take much stretch. Now we'll turn the compressor on, feed it some air, and see if I destroyed that tube. Put it in there. All right, we're at uh, 45 psi, and that is uh, actually came out just about perfect. So, yay, we're going to do this, if you build a little soap water up against the uh, rim seat, and that tube is in fact leaking, you will see bubbles. One of the main reasons I did this upgrade is because I would like to be able to run motorcycle or scooter type tires without worry, and uh, I'd like to be able to run low as hell pressure if I feel like it. 78 so yeah and I wonder I can't tell which one's wider because the new one's actually like two mils wider yeah we're looking at 10 15 mil difference Thirteen, <laughs> yeah, anywhere between ten and fifteen mil difference between the off-road and the, so there's definitely going to be no problem with spacing in the fender. The only problem is I just lost all the pedal height increase I fucking gained. But if you do want pedal height increase from stock, you're not going to want to be using the Angel tire. Let's carry on with the motor, shall we? I got that to pop off. This is the wire side, and yeah, it just popped. Phew, this is how I did it. I picked the spot here, and I picked the spot here, and I just pushed, and it finally fell out, and the uh, pillow underneath it caught it. So that actually worked. Thirty-five, and these are thirty-five. So the magnets are the same. Uh, 
that's what they said, wider to the right, wider side to the right. So I've got a feeling this is going to suck this into here, so let's put these up here where they're not going to get damaged. Holy shit. Yeah, don't get your fucking fingers in there, big boy. Ooh. That just made my fingers hurt thinking about it. All right, as near as I can figure, that's straight. Works straight. That's my best guess. We'll see if it fits in there or not. God, I hope it's straight. Well, that is a pointy tire. Yep, we're still full. Wow, that looks like that runs pretty straight. So I must have got those hangers centered enough. Not a huge fan of how this is popping through here. I'll uh, get back with you when I go to wiring this back up. And we'll check to see spacing and all that good stuff. But we're on the upside of it now. This may fucking work. Fingers crossed. Knock on wood. I can't complain at all. That I can see daylight through both sides all the way back evenly and it really does ride just like we saw earlier with that. I mean that's I'm really excited to see how smooth this rides. So uh, shame on you veteran. These should be gold plated for the gold plated. Don't have to worry about sanding these because they're obviously not gold plated. So we'll get them down to the Probably cheap copper compound they are. Get any uh, corrosion off of them. Put a thin layer of this on them. Lock them down, and uh, they should be good to go. Let's see. Alright. Uh, see if we can see. I can see a little bit of shift. I feel it too. Well, back together. Tools are all put up. Seems like it might work, but no repair job is complete until you get a verification that it works. So I'm going to take this out, and it is very late and very dark, and it's been raining, so I couldn't think of a safer time to go give this the final test ride to make sure that it operates properly. This will not be a performance ride. That's for daylight and another video. So, just give me a cigarette, give me a knuckle light, give me a selfie stick, and I'll go head down the rain. I'm not even going to use a knuckle light. 
I'll tell you, that tire slid like crazy in that wet grass. We're rolling. Oh, I'm still up at like 50 PSI. Oh well, this is just a test. Oh man. Pretty smooth. It seems like it works. But I'm not going to carry on. Oh wow. I think I do have more pedal clearance. That's for a test, but this is just a test ride, and uh, I'll say it works. So I'm gonna put it up until daylight in better weather with some air out of the tire and give it a run, see what happens. Thanks for uh, sticking out, watching this boring ass video if you have. Peace out.